Welcome to the Loss of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. I'm Brian Fagan from the Loss of Brian Fagan, and today we're delving into a crucial aspect of a divorce proceeding in Texas, the petition for divorce. Understanding the ins and the outs of this document is essential for anyone considering navigating the divorce process in the Lone Star State. In this comprehensive guide, we will walk you through everything you need to know about filing a petition for divorce in Texas. The petition for divorce is an initial document filed with the court to initiate the divorce process. It outlines the key information about the marriage, including the grounds for divorce, the request for child custody and support, the division of assets, and any other relevant issues. Familiarizing yourself with the contents of the petition is essential before filing. Texas allows for both fault-based and no-fault grounds for divorce. Fault-based grounds include adultery, cruelty, abandonment, and felony conviction. Alternatively, couples can seek a no-fault divorce based on insupportability, meaning the marriage has become insupportable due to discord or conflict. The petition for divorce must be filed with the district court in the county where either you or your spouse reside. The filing fee varies by county, so it's essential to check with the local court's requirements. Along with the petition, you may need to submit additional documents such as the financial affidavit or parenting plan. After filing the petition, it must be formally served on your spouse who then has the opportunity to respond. Texas law requires proper service to ensure that your spouse has notice of the divorce proceedings. This step is crucial for moving the case forward and obtaining a final divorce decree. Once served with the petition for divorce, your spouse has a specified period of time to respond. They may choose to contest the divorce or file a counter petition outlining their request and concerns. Failure to respond within the allotted time may result in a default judgment being entered against them. In many cases, couples are able to reach agreements on issues such as child custody and support and property division outside of court. These agreements can be memorialized in a settlement agreement and presented to the court for approval. Negotiating a fair, equitable settlement can help streamline the divorce process and minimize conflict. Filing a petition for divorce in Texas is a significant step and marks the beginning of the legal process to dissolve your marriage. By understanding the key elements of the petition and following the necessary steps for filing and serving, you can navigate the divorce process with competence. If you are considering a divorce or need assistance with filing a petition, our experienced attorneys at the Law of Brian Fagan are here to help. Be sure to like this video, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more legal insights. If you're ready to take the step, don't hesitate to reach out and schedule a free 30-minute consultation with our knowledgeable attorneys. With our guidance and support, you can navigate the complexities of divorce proceedings in Texas with clarity and peace of mind. Thanks for tuning in to the end. We understand that divorce can be expensive depending on the situation. That's why we're offering our do-it-yourself Texas divorce e-course. You can get access to this e-course by clicking on the link in the description below. Catch you in the next video.